remember that they're changing my voice. So people need to understand there's a difference between a modern day soldier, the typical soldier, uh, Conan the Barbarian, okay, a Roman soldier back in the day, okay, Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Shaka Zhu. There's differences here, and they are significant. They're some of the most important differences there are for humans to understand. This is what God put there for people to understand. And there's various theatrical presentations of things, and you're supposed to read between the lines and make an estimate, right? The word estimate has the word made in it, right? And the political climate, the social climate, the word climate has the word made in it as well. So when we look at this thing historically, people used to live in, in, in kind of um, tribal communities, right? And they would make their, their warrior pitch, okay, in, in the Igbo tribe, for example, and the borderlands, for example, they were f described as fiercely martial cultures. That tribal culture, that se those sections of the tribes, at least, were described as fiercely martial cultures. Okay? People more or less had the same amount of money, generally speaking, right? They might have a, an extra goat or something, whatever. You know, they, they, they did their farming thing. There was market days, what have you. But what really got women's attention was being a great warrior. Now, when you're in a different context, okay, um, in a multicultural society, in the concrete jungle, that ancient kind of paradigm doesn't go away. That timeless human paradigm doesn't go away. When it goes away after my flesh dies, for example, people are no longer human. It continues in the spiritual realm forever. That is the natural state. God is supernatural speaking to people in the natural. He's not speaking to people through the concrete, okay? In a sense, hardly, may, eh, but not truly. Not in the most potent and deep sense. He's speaking to people through martial arts and through marriage. That's why the word martial for martial arts is marital scramble. So when society refuses to give me my rightful place, they have engaged me socially. They have engaged me even financially, but money's not so much my concern. They've engaged me politically. They've engaged me religiously. They've engaged me spiritually, psychologically, what have you. That's part of what psyops are. Psyche and ops. And Mars, who, where the West gets their word martial arts, raped Rhea, a.k.a. ops, in their mythology, in their Greco-Roman mythology. And why? And it has to do with the chaos, right? Zeus is a deity of chaos that causes people to not find their suitable helper. And we see evidence of people separating panthers. And Hera is also symbolized and associated with panthers. And so there's the leopard martial arts societies in Africa. And Hera, who's shaped like a, a, a mulatto who had married a, you know, shaped like the daughter of a mulatto and a white person, right? That's pretty much who she is. A white person with black uh, physical attributes. Okay, when you see a chick with a nice ass, so on and so forth, excuse my French, that is probably from Africa, from African martial arts. So here you see these cultivative uh, uh, attributes of women that come from martial arts. You see that it's in your gene to look at things in terms of martial arts. You see some punk ass beta or some rich guy or some knucklehead who's not deep and spiritual with a hot chick with a nice body. On some level you say, hey, that's not fair. That brute kind of muscled, throw his weight around in society to get her. The nerd threw his money around and hired the brute to help him. What have you, right? No offense to anybody. This is, these are the facts here. So whenever you don't get your a suitable helper for you, right? If you look like Andre the Giant, for example, you can't expect to have the most attractive and deep and, and, and wise woman. But when you're top, we're the top martial arts ever, you can. And it's not limited to just Ebos or mulattoes or African-Americans or Jamaicans or Haitians or whatever. It's every single group. This is a universal principle. When the, uh, the wars were in the Bible, the Jews were taking wives from Philistines and Amorites and Hittites and you name it. Jebusites, Philistines, right? It was not just Jews who they were marrying. So when we look at the argument that they're making in their Bible that's superimposed on martial arts, I mean, we all know that Harry Potter and Bibi Netanyahu's ancestors weren't the pinnacle of the martial art order all throughout human history. They never were, and they never can be. No offense to anybody. And that's part of the confusion. The Bible and various religions confuses that. So when you see all these people, they're coming from India, they're coming from Africa, they're coming from Mexico and you know, Saudi Arabia, they're coming from all over the world here. And they 
have cults that try to unfairly cheat me, you know, and cheating me is unfair, right? And the word cheat even has the word heat in it. And not everyone's from a hot place, a place with a hot climate. Again, the word mate is in the word climate. So as you estimate, again, mate, what is fair? And the word mate is meat and team scrambled. Meat and, and it's also me at. So are you meeting me at my rightful place and giving me my credit? Or are you shunning me and trying to get me to settle while gays try to catfish me on the internet? And if you as a society shun me as the son of God, then curses on you and your offspring to the extreme, no mercy for eternity. I just hope that you're at least clear on that point as you continue your treachery. 